Okay, so the problem that we are interested in solving is uh, the equation 2 minus x plus ln x equal to 0 and we know one of the solution uh, lies between uh, uh, 1 and 4 essentially that solution ends up uh, being something like 3.14 or something. Okay. So, let us type bisection method over here. What we have is we will start with two initial guesses, one initial guess will be x equal to 1, the second initial guess is x equal to 4, we will just call it iteration number 1. So, what we will now do is uh, calculate f of uh, x l and f of x r. So, we will just write that down uh, f l and we will write this as f r. Okay. So, f l is nothing but f l is equal to 2 minus x l, x l is in this particular column. So, 2 minus x l plus log l n of x l. Okay. So, what we have done is what we have over here is 2 minus b 4, b 4 is this particular cell, the b 4 is nothing but x l plus log of b 4 which means log again of x l. Okay. We press enter and this is the uh, value of f of l that is being computed and then we can just take our cursor to the bottom of this cell and drag this cell to the right and we will will be able to compute our f of r and if we click on the function key f2 we will be able to see the equation for f of r so f of r now is equal to 2 minus c4 so c4 is essentially x of r plus ln of x of r so the plus ln of x of r so that's essentially our f of r so f of r also has now been computed Next what we what we need to do is to compute x of i plus 1 and the way we will compute x of i plus 1 is let us let us first write the heading x of i plus 1 okay. and x of i plus 1 is nothing but x of l plus x of r divided by 2. So, x of i plus 1 is nothing but average of x of l and x of r. What we next are going to do is then to calculate f of i plus 1 also. So, we will calculate f of i plus 1, I will write that down over here f of i plus 1 and again f of i plus 1 equals 2 minus x of i plus 1 plus logarithm of x of i plus 1 okay. and that is what we have computed. Okay. The final thing that we also need to compute is the product f of l multiplied by f of i plus 1. So, that is what we need to compute. So, we will just do this and let us write that down over here. It is f of l multiplied by f of i plus 1. font I will use is times new Roman so that we are able to see this very well. Okay. So, the product f of l multiplied by f of i plus 1 is nothing but this multiplied by this. Okay. As we know that if the product of f of l multiplied by f of i plus 1 is a positive number that means uh, essentially uh, x of i plus 1 lies on the same side of the solution as x of l as a result we are going to replace x of l with x of i plus 1. So, if so what we will write over here is if f of l multiplied by f of i plus 1 is greater than 0 then x of l is going to be equal to x of i plus 1 else x of l is going to be equal to the previous x of l. Okay, that is what we have written over there and the same way if this particular term, so if f of l multiplied by f of i plus 1 is greater than 0, okay, that means that uh, x of r is going to be, uh, be retained uh, essentially the same, uh, same value else x of r will be replaced by x of i plus 1. 
okay so this is what what we have so this is our second iteration result and then we compute f of l as before so we just go over here and drag it downwards so now instead of computing f of l we have ended up, uh, uh, f f of uh, xl at this point we have now ended up cal computing f of x of l at the new xl value likewise we can we'll just be able to drag this and this should work and then we will drag x of i plus 1 and that's our new guess uh, x uh, for x, x x of i plus 1 and then both of these guys we'll just be able to drag okay so now what happens is that the f of i plus 1 at uh, x i plus 1 equal to 3.25 is a negative value if it is a negative value now that means uh, f of l is positive value f of r is negative value because uh, f of i plus 1 is negative value it is going to be x r that is going to be replaced now by uh, x of i plus 1. So what we will do now is just take this entire row and just drag it downwards and that should be enough. So what, what is going to happen is the procedure is going to be repeated at each and every row and the stopping criteria is the error. Error is as we had discussed earlier error is nothing but absolute value of the difference between x of i plus 1 minus x of l. So that is our error and we just take this and drag it downwards. Okay, so this is how our error changes with each iteration. Uh, uh, for the first iteration, the error is 1.5. The second iteration error is 0 0.75. The third iteration error is 0 0.375. So on and so forth. Uh, some of you might actually notice that uh, that every time we increase one iteration of the bisection method. Uh, we essentially are reducing the error by half. So in the first iteration error is uh, reduced to 1.5 from 1.5 error reduces to 0 0.75 from 0 0.75 error reduces to 0 0.375 and so on and so forth. The stopping criteria if you recall that we had, uh, we had decided was that the error the absolute value of the error should be less than 10 to the power minus 4. This is 1.8 10 to the power minus 4 which is greater than 10 to the power minus 4 whereas this particular value is less than 10 to the power minus 4. So this is going to be essentially up our approximate solution okay and uh, so what we will do is we will just color this yellow. So our approximate solution essentially is going to be excuse me essentially a upper approximate solution is going to be 3.1463 that is that is the solution that we have gotten uh, through this, this procedure. Okay. So to recap what we did was we started off with uh, a guess value of xl a guess value of xr. Uh, the first thing that we did is computed f of xl next we computed f of xr next we computed x of i plus 1 the x of i plus 1 was quite simple it is nothing but an average of the value x l and x r what we did next was computed f of x of i plus 1 f of x of i plus 1 is nothing but 2 minus x of i plus 1 plus log ln of x of i plus 1 okay that is what we did over there next what we had to decide was whether x of i plus 1 replaces x l or whether it replaces x r in order to do that we had to compute the product f of x l multiplied by f of x of i plus 1. So the product f of x l and f of x of i plus 1 in this particular case is positive. Now if this product is positive that means x l and x i plus 1 lie on the same side of the solution because x l and x i plus 1 lie on the same side of the solution it is x l that is replaced by uh, x of i plus 1. So x l the original x l was 1 we replaced it by 2.5 x r remained the same as before f l is what we have computed uh, uh, using the new value of x of l f r is essentially remains the same as, as we had in the previous iteration. 
again we repeat the same procedure we get x of i plus 1 which is nothing but an average of these two numbers remember, remember this x of i plus 1 was an average of these two numbers this x of i plus 1 is average of these two numbers this x of i plus 1 is going to be average of this these two numbers so on and so forth again we computed f of i plus 1 now when we compute f of i plus 1 what we see is that the f of i plus 1 is essentially negative because f of i plus 1 is negative uh, the x of i plus 1 lies on the opposite side of x l so x l remains the same but it is x r that we change and we update it to the newest value x of i plus 1 ok so we keep repeating that procedure until the error that we get is reduced to below the the threshold value of error that we had decided so that is essentially how our bisection method is, is uh, going to work ok. So I will just write this as bisection ok. So this is essentially our bisection method uh, what happens is that we started off with x l and x r at 1 and 4 reduced the, the value from 1 and 4 to its midpoint which is 2.5 from the midpoint it went to the other midpoint between 2.5 and 4 which is 3.25 then we found a midpoint between these two points which is 2.875 so on and so forth each time replacing the particular solution uh, xl or xr which is on the same side of the x star that is the true, true solution we keep replacing that and keep repeating this over and over again and that is essentially our bisection method uh, and the solution of the bisection method in uh, xl.